guys, welcome back to our channel. This is Timic TV, and I'm your host, Miss Rachel and Mama Timmy Elijah. It's good to have you again. To our existing subscribers, thank you for your love and support. Thank you for supporting this channel. And if you're stopping by for the first time, you are welcome to this family. Please click on the subscribe button and the notification bell to anybody get update each time I upload a new video. In today's video, I will showing you how to check and balance the pH of your product. Here we have a lotion. Remember you, your oil-based products are always balanced. pH is always balanced. But for your water-based product like your lotion, your soap, your scrub, your toners, you have to check and balance the pH. It is very, very important. For your lotion, it has to be a pH of 4.0 to 5.5. For those who did skincare training with us, we already have emphasized that and we told you how to check and balance your pH already. For your soap, like your black soap especially, it has to be a pH of eight, nothing less than that, eight, and not higher, it should be a pH of eight. Okay, here I have my pH tree and my pH meter. This is a pH meter and your pH tree. For those of you who do not have pH meter, this is quite expensive, you can work with your pH strip. Now, this is what you do. For your pH strip, all you have to do is check the pH of your product with this, test it with this, and then you come here to check whatever color you get on this strip. You come here to check the number to know what pH that product is. So I'm going to be doing a live party car in this video. Just watch this. Remember I said the pH of your oil is always balanced. So I'm going to try this with our oil first. You can see. Let's see if it's going to change color. You can see the color remain as it is. What we have here is more like yellow so we're going to look for where this number falls in our ph you can see it falls number five here is yellow you can see can you see it so there's no point balancing the ph i told you ph of your oil based product are always balanced and we work with the ph of 4.0 to 5.5 which is the category we have our oil so i just want to put this aside get another strip and check the pH of our lotion whether your body lotion or your face cream scrub whatever you have to check the pH so I'm gonna check this this lotion is balanced already I'm gonna see what happened So this is our lotion, we just check now, you can see it's not changing color, which means it's balanced. Can you see? If the pH of this lotion is not balanced, it will change color and you're going to see the color reflect here. Now whatever, num whatever color you get here, you're going to check where the number falls on to know the pH level of that product. So you can see our lotion is balanced. Now this is a mulatto soup I just finished making. If you want to know how to make your mulatto soup, I'll drop the link in the description box for you. Now let's check the pH of this soup. This is another strip I've got here. Let's see if it's going to change or if it's going to give us the color we have in number 8. Okay. 
so it's changing already can you see remember i said the ph of your soap has to be eight If you are doing your product for personal use at home, simple DIY, you can get a pH tree. But most time I recommend pH meter because pH meter is usually more accurate. So, I'm just going to clean this up. And see what color this is on our pH chart. Can you see the number, the color we're having here? And bring it close to the camera. I hope it's clear. So we're just gonna look for that number on our pH strip. We're just gonna look for the color on our pH chart. This is it. Is this number? Does it fall under category one? No. Is it a pH level of 3? No, it isn't. Is it pH 5? Yellow? No. Is it 6? No, it's not. Is it 7? No, it's not 7. Can you see? Is this 8? Can you see the color? Can you see it? This is pH 8. Our soap is has a pH of 8. Okay, let's see. Is it pH 9? No, it isn't. Let's compare this with 10. No. 12. No. 14. No. You can see it is a pH of 8. Our soap has a pH of 8, which means this soap is good to go. If your product does not have the pH it's supposed to have, then that product has a problem already. I talked about our uh, black soap, why our black soap smells, why it changes color, why you get some kind of reaction and a whole lot of things there. Remember I talked about pH. Your pH, the pH level of your soap plays a major role when it comes to the effectiveness of that soap. So if you want to know more about that, I'm also going to drop the link in the description box for you. Now, how do you balance the pH of your soap if that pH not just your soap, generally your pH of your product, your lotion, your toner, your scrub, your soap. How do you check and balance the pH? If it's low, how do you bring it up? If the pH of that product is high, higher than it should be, how do you bring it down? Stay glued to this channel. Like I said, subscribe if you haven't. That will be in our next video. So if you want to know about it, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll be the first to know when I upload that video. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video where we'll talk about how to mix your solution to either reduce the pH of a product or increase it. Bye.